you're looking at the example, h of x is the, the greatest integer function. Um, that's going to be discontinuous at the integers and continuous everywhere else. And here's a graph of h of x. It looks basically like a bunch of steps. And I'm going to show to you that it's discontinuous at 2. Um, the, the proof is going to look like just any other integer, but I'm just picking 2 to be concrete. Um, the way I'm going to do that is the usual way you prove something that's discontinuous. I'm going to find a sequence that converges to 2, but h of that sequence is not going to h of 2, and h of 2, of course, is 2, since 2 is the greatest integer that's bigger than or equal to 2. Uh, so here's my sequence. a sub n will equal 2 minus 1 over n. Pretty clearly, this is going to converge to 2, so we're good. We have an a sub n that converges to 2. But h of a sub n is equal to uh, h of 2 minus 1 over n. And to figure this out, maybe let's go over here. So I have an, I have an h, my a sub n is converging to 2, which basically means here's a sub 1 is right here, a sub 2 is going to be half that, a sub 3. Four, da, da, da. It's getting really close to 2. If I map that up to the function, 1 is going to map up here. This is f of h of 1, or sorry, h of a sub 1. Uh, uh, and that's equal to, that has a value of 1. Um, similarly, uh, h of x sub 2 is going to be up here. h of x sub 3, da, 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 is going to converge to this open dot. But notice f of 2 is up here at 2. So these are all strictly less than 2. So the greatest integer that's less than or equal to it is going to be 1. So these is just going to be a sequence of 1s. I should probably change back to my original color. Um, which is going to converge to 1, which most importantly is not equal to h of 2. So it's not continuous at 2. And that's the basic idea behind any of the, the integer values. Always. The, at the integers, you jump up, but just take something that's converging from the left. Take a sequence that converges from the left, and you will never uh, have any values of 2. You'll just have a value of well, uh, you know, 1 minus the integer that you have. So you're never going to converge. So you're discontinuous at every point. Why are you continuous at every point that's not an integer? For this, I just want to look at one particular one of these step functions, of these steps. So maybe this is m, that's at m plus 1, where those are integers. We're going to look and see why it's continuous at a point c. Well, here's what you need to do. Uh, you need to show that if delta is the minimum of, well, what we need to do is we just need to do c minus m and m plus 1 minus c and then use the definition. What does this mean? Basically it says that you have to be within the smaller of these two distances. Notice that if you're in the smaller of these two distances, you are exactly on this bar right here. So if you're in the smaller of those two, two distances, what you get is you get f or h of x minus h of c. Oh, maybe I should spell this out specifically. c minus m. This is c minus m. That smaller part is m plus 1 minus c. So you take the smaller of the two. Then when you subtract h of x minus h of c, as long as you're in the same bar, what you're going to get is you're going to get m minus m. Because basically you're just making it so that you're guaranteed to stay on this portion right here. You're not going to jump up. And so you're going to get 0, which is, of course is less than epsilon for all epsilon. So that's why the proof works out. So that's why this function is discontinuous every integer, but continues everywhere else.